Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we are doing a review of all the Miraculous Ladybug doll customs that I've been making. If you've been to my channel before, you'll know that I've been making these dolls for months now. As of today, I've made 17 dolls. So, including the three original ones, I now have 20 dolls. So, today I want to take a look at all of them. If you're interested in seeing how these customs were made, I have the links down below in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first three dolls are the original dolls. Let's go ahead and take them out. We have Ladybug here. She is actually kind of rare. I've gotten a lot of these dolls and I think I only got two of these Ladybug dolls. So that is pretty special. I'm definitely keeping this one unmodified so that I have at least one. The next one here is Marinette as Bun Eggs and she comes with these really cute bunny ears. I think her outfit is one of the prettiest ones. Next we have Rena Rouge. So here is Rena Rouge and her ears. And I did modify this one a little bit. I gave her a tail. But otherwise, she is unchanged. Next, I have Dragon Bug. Here is Dragon Bug. Don't you just love her outfit? Oh my goodness. Of course, here is her headband. I love how this doll turned out. Next, this is one of my newer ones. This is Pegabug. I really like the bright colors of Pegabug. I love that the front here is white, we have the red with the polka dots, and then we have the black. And I love that her polka dots are actually different sizes. So she has some big ones and small ones. And the gradient from the white to the red also looks really good on her legs. And of course she has these wings. She just has so many little accessories to her outfit. These little glasses here. Super, super cool. Of course, the hair, we had to modify it into a ponytail and add extensions to it. Moving on, we have Rena Furtive. Here is Rena Furtive, which as we know, is a different version of Rena Rouge. And I just love her pastel colors. So she turned out really, really pretty. And just like Rena Rouge, we also added a tail for her. I love the camouflage on her. Okay, next we have the multis. We have the multi mouse, we have the multi noir, we have multi fox, and we also have multi bug. Let's go ahead and get them out. Here is multi mouse. So, multi mouse here is super cute with her gray and pink mask on. She has her jump robe. We did tie her hair up into two, two little buns, but they didn't work out that great. It's still a little bit lopsided. So I think we stopped doing it for the other multi dolls. Her body is gray, pink, and black, which is a really nice combination of colors. Here is multi fox. So these are the unification dolls. She's the unification of the mouse and fox Miraculous. So that's why she has orange instead of pink and she still has the mouse and the fox Miraculous. So this is super cool. Also made them jump ropes with matching strings. And for this doll, I did not do the hair. So we kept the hair in the original pigtails instead of the buns. Here it is multi-bug. The unification of the mouse and ladybug miraculous. As you can see here on her gray body, she has spots just like ladybug. And her rope here is red. So I thought she turned out really cool too. And our last one here of the multi is multi noir. So you probably guessed it. This is the unification of the mouse and cat miraculous. In fact, you can see the ring right here because in the shell, Ladybug was super, super tiny. Or rather, Multinoir was super, super tiny, so the miraculous was humongous on her. 
So this one is pretty dark and I like that. The uh, black markings here is actually shiny and then the rest of it is matte, which I thought was really, really cool looking. And overall, I just love the way these four look when they're standing together. All right, moving on to the next one. Here we have Purple Tigress. Purple Tigress is super cool. So here is Purple Tigress. I think she is one of the few customs that I made where I had to modify the mask. So her mask is much bigger than the other one. I also painted her lips so it's a darker purple. And overall, I think she turned out really, really nice. Just take a look at her. She even has a cool little tail there. Super fun to paint. And I love the combination of colors. All right, this next one was so much fun. So this is Ladybug with her wedding dress. So this was this only appeared in a dream sequence, I believe. I don't think this is an official um, character. She showed up in a dream, I believe, and um, she was getting married to Cat Noir, and she had this really beautiful wedding kind of outfit in that scene. So as you can see, it is red and white, and I just really love the way it turned out. I remember having difficulties putting on the white over the red because the red kept making the white dots pink. So this is really cool. It would be really amazing if they made a real doll of her so that we can collect her. Okay, our next one here is Lady Noir. So Lady Noir here is super cool. She is in all black, but she turned out really, really beautiful because these green lines really stand out. So she has these ears, these really cool masks with the black lining. Her eyes are painted green. Her hair is modified. It looks a little funny now, but I added a really long braid. Here is her really long black braid that is mixed into her blue hair. And of course, the rest of her outfit is black. And I just love the way she looks. All right, next one here is Lady Bee. That is Ladybug and the Bee Miraculous. Let's take a look at this. This is super cool. This one was really complex because of all the colors. So we have the yellow behind the black on top of the red, which was pretty hard to do, but I think she was well worth the effort. Just take a look at her. She turned out fantastic. I love her mask too. So once again, if you want to take a better look at these dolls and how they were made, make sure to check out their individual videos. Our next one here is Bug Noir. So here is Bug Noir. This is one of my newer ones. Really, really cool. So she is Ladybug and Cat Noir mix. So you can see the ears here, the cat ears. You can see the black, but we also have the polka dots which is really cool. And I think it's such a good combination. Just take a look at this. She looks like she is wearing a little jacket here. This is another one of my favorite costumes. All right, so I think that is all of our hero dolls. Let's go ahead and move on to our villains. Let's start with the half villain. This one is a split doll. So that means she is actually two dolls. She is a combination of Ladybug and Anti-Bug. So if you look on her right side, she turns her head. She's actually Ladybug over here. But then if you turn her to look this way, she is Anti-Bug. So this one was a lot of fun to do. and did use up one of my really rare Ladybug dolls. Okay, our next villain here is one of my favorites. This is Lady Wi-Fi. So Lady Wi-Fi is pure black and white. And she looks so, so cool. Look at her. Look at this. She is so shiny. I love the black on her. And of course, we have the white gloves and white boots. I think she was one of my first villains. Okay, next one. Here is the regular anti-bug. So this is a full doll as anti-bug. 
just take a look at those red spots. Okay, we have two more, and here is Hawk Moth. Okay, so Hawk Moth was different because instead of a mask, he had a helmet. And so this is why it looks a little bit funny because we had to cover her hair too. It is removable. Let's take a look. There she is under that helmet there. She, her body is purple and she looks like she is wearing a little suit. Okay, and here is our last one. And also my latest doll. This is Cat Blanc. The Kumitai's version of Cat Noir. So, so Cat Blanc is entirely in white. We have the cat ears, we have the white mask, we have the white hair, and we have the white outfit, including the tail, the baton, and the bell. Everything about Cat Blanc is white. All right, everyone. So once again, here are all the dolls. Do you see a favorite? Do you like the heroes or the villains better? And which ones do you think should be made into official dolls? I really hope that Playmate comes out with a second series of these dolls. It'll be really fun to collect. But in the meantime, which other customs should I make next? Let me know down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. All right, see you next time. Bye.